Welcome to Crystal TV. At the peak of the global financial crisis, the world economy had sunk to minus 0.5%, the worst performance since the Second World War. After that, a lot of stimulus was pumped in, both monetary and fiscal, but the recovery has been very uneven, very fragile, and uh, people have very low confidence in sustainability of the growth path. And also what we saw during this period was the central banks became more aggressive with monetary policy and went beyond the zero bound. Uh, we've seen quantitative easing, we've seen negative interest rates, and we've also seen uh, now helicopter money being discussed. Uh, to discuss all this and more, we are privileged to have Dr. Paul Shedd, S&P Global's chief economist with us. The, the first question I want to ask is that why is the global growth so low and the confidence around that growth so weak? And uh, how do you see the world economy pan out in 2016? Thanks, DK. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it has been a, a muted recovery, certainly since mid-2009. I think the biggest reason for that uh, is simply, uh, as you noted in your introduction, the global economy in 2008 and 2009 suffered uh, a massive a heart attack in the financial system, which catapulted the economy into the worst recession since the Great Depression. And that set in train uh, a secular deleveraging, a debt deleveraging cycle. Uh, and that meant that monetary policy, the, the favored tool of macroeconomic or aggregate demand management, didn't really have much potency. So the headwinds, the deleveraging headwinds in particular to growth, uh, have been strong and they've taken quite a long time to dissipate. So I think that's the primary reason. And, and I think how do you see the world economy perform in 2016? I think every now and then new risks and to, to global growth, to financial stability keep reappearing and the latest one is from the China. So how do you see these risks play out in, in 2016? Well, first of all, the baseline, we, we expect the global expansion to continue. That's been running at you know, a little bit above 3%, 3 to 3.5% 3 for a number of years now. Uh, we think that will probably continue, uh, driven by the US, uh, growing a little bit above 2%. But China is the key uh, risk factor, I think, for the global economy. We do see China continuing to slow down often increasingly larger base, but probably coming in a little bit below the government's target of 6.5%. Uh, but we think China can continue to grow in that kind of zip code. And as long as that's the case, um, the global economy overall will probably continue to grow 3, 3.5%. Europe as well is now getting uh, the tailwind of some quite aggressive uh, monetary easing by the, the ECB. They were pretty late to the party, uh, but they've now got a religion, if you like, about QE, and that's giving a monetary tailwind to growth. And then finally, Japan, uh, we've just had the news that the Prime Minister uh, is going to delay uh, the next round of the consumption tax hike. Um, that would have thrown the economy in Japan next year back into a, another low growth mode. Uh, that's good news as well for the, for the economy in Japan. So I wouldn't say all cylinders are firing, um, but it doesn't look to us that there's any compelling reason uh, to be that negative on the global outlook at the moment. Yeah, and in all this, I think one beacon of hope is US where the QE was very successful and now they are trying to unwind it. And how do you see the Fed moving this year and, and what would be they looking at? Well, we think the Fed will probably hike in June or July. It might slip to July, but we have Ju June penciled in at the moment. Uh, the, the Fed, in a way, DK, is playing a very traditional monetary policy hand. Um, they've been very aggressive with monetary policy, and the economy has improved. Unemployment now is down at 5%. It did peak at 10%. The level of GDP is about 10% above the pre-crisis peak. The labor market is tightening. Uh, inflation is... is at the core level is, is also a uh, bit below target, but picking up. So everything points to the Fed in a sort of textbook manner, starting to recalibrate its monetary policy stance, but it's very cautious. It doesn't want to upset the growth apple cart here. So uh, it'll take it very step by step. As Janet Yellen keeps telling the world, it will be data driven. The economy continues to improve. They'll take cautious, quite uh, measured steps to start to unwind uh, the very accommodative monetary policy stance. Paul, thank you very much for your thoughts on the global economy and, and thank you very much for watching Crystal TV.